Tesla has estimated that there are five lithium battery fires for every billion miles traveled, compared to 55 fires per billion miles traveled in gasoline cars. However, it can take up to 24 hours for a battery fire to be fully extinguished. To solve this, LG Chem has developed new breakthrough materials that have the longest flame blocking duration. So why wouldn't anyone want this material? And how effective is it exactly? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before I begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. LG Chem said it had developed a highly heat resistant plastic that can significantly delay thermal runaway in the 4680 batteries used in Tesla's electric vehicles. LG said the new material has the long longest flame blocking duration in the world. But what kind of plastic? LG Chem's new flame retardant material is described as a highly functional engineering plastic comprising various material groups, including poly polyphenylene oxide, polyamide, and polybutylene terephthalate. Compared with other flame retardant plastics, the materials can block heat for longer periods of time when it is applied to the electric vehicle's battery pack cover. But then how much does this plastic material from LG Chem cost. According to LG, the cost of the material is only 20% of a Tesla's 4680 battery pack. Tesla charges $7,400 for a Model Y 4680 pack, therefore installing this extra material only costs around $1,500. If you don't want a fire in your car, this expense is insignificant. Now, how exactly does it help? LG Chem said in-house tests showed the material prevented flame propagation for over 400 seconds above 1000 degrees, 45 times longer than general flame retardant plastics, which would provide more time for the safe evacuation of vehicle occupants in the case of a battery fire. The material is also said to have superb dimensional stability, maintaining its shape despite extreme temperature changes. LG Chem said thermal runaway is a main cause of fire in electric vehicle batteries, which, which occur when battery cells suffer stresses from various sources causing over voltage and over discharge short circuits. Fires start once the cell's internal temperature rises above a certain level. Lithium ion batteries are also highly reactive to water, meaning that fires are hard to extinguish with water. Last year, several EV fires in the US which caused severe injury were found to have been caused by defective LGES batteries. But speaking of the flame blocking duration, how about the longevity of this material? How many years will it last? This product is expected to last 50 years because it's made of durable materials, unless your car unfortunately catches fire, in which you'll then have to replace the cover. I've gotta say, there's many advantages to having this cover. So when are we going to see this material in the real world? LG Chem intends to begin commercial production next year and work on patent applications for the new material in South Korea, the United States, and Europe is already underway, according to the company. For Tesla, the 4680 batteries are an essential component. How then is manufacturing of the Tesla 4680 battery coming along? Tesla announced this week that the Cato Road Pilot Battery Facility in Fremont, California achieved a new production milestone. According to the company's tweet, the team managed to produce roughly 868,000 4680-type cylindrical lithium-ion battery cells during the last week. That's about 124,000 cells produced every day. A Twitter user, Alex, has made a production ramp forecast for the 4680 batteries. He expects a run rate of 4 million cells per month in mid-January of 2023. The current run rate is about 3,840,000 per month. Previously, this facility produced a cumulative number of 1,04680 type cells in February since the production started in 2020. We don't know what the current cumulative number is, but the 10 months now, but with 10 months now down the road, it should be more than 10 million units. With current production, how many Model Ys will be produced? We now see that 868,000 4680 battery cells are enough to produce over a thousand Model Y vehicles. Annualized, that's 52,000 cars a year with 4680 batteries. The cells are used to produce one type of Model Y vehicle with a structural battery pack at Gigafactory Texas. Tesla is definitely on an exponential trend, and these 4680 batteries will be used in the Tesla 
Semi, the Cybertruck, and possibly the Model 3 with LFP batteries, but that remains to be seen. But what are Tesla's competitors doing to ramp up battery production? It's from German luxury car maker BMW, which has shown off its latest electric car technology. But the company has all but admitted to copying Tesla's work. So the question has to be asked, can BMW take on Musk? BMW's new battery is known as the Gen 6, and it is a complete departure from any battery design they've used before. The Gen 6 is a large cylindrical battery, 46 millimeters wide and either 95 millimeters or 120 millimeters tall. For comparison, Tesla's cell is slightly smaller at 46 millimeters by 80. So what then is the result of all of this innovation in the BMW battery. Well, BMW can get 30% more range from these packs, allowing them to build EVs with over 620 miles of range. The Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive is equipped with 4680 type batteries, rated at 279 miles of range, which is 341 miles less than the BMW battery. The Gen 6's weight also goes down by up to 30% thanks to the, in to the increased energy density. The new internal chemistry and better cooling allows charge speeds of 270 kilowatts, making 10 to 80% charge times as short as 15 minutes. In contrast, charging a Model Y equipped with the new battery at the latest at the latest, V3 supercharger attained a maximum charging power of 250 kilowatts and took 32 minutes to charge from 0 to 80%. It looks like BMW's new battery is making big breakthroughs. Moreover, BMW is bringing in a third-party manufacturer to get production started, which may get these batteries into their cars by 2025. So does this spell out the end of Tesla's EV dominance? Musk has several options. First, he could compile, could pile more money onto the 4680 development and ramp production up to scale more quickly. Tesla does have the cash reserves to be able to do this as well. After all, I'm sure BMW wouldn't mind getting a licensing fee for this battery, and Tesla already uses CATL to supply their 2170 batteries. Either way, it seems Tesla has always been ahead. It's taken BMW many years to catch up to Tesla, but now I'm sure they're hoping to stay on par with the electric vehicle giant. Do you think Tesla will apply new technology to the 4680 battery? Will competitors develop a new battery that's even better than the 4680 model? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time, take care and be safe. Oh, and Happy New Year!